A large tract of Arnhem land in the Northern Territory has been placed into the National Reserve, ensuring the land is conserved for generations to come. Traditional owner groups say it's a momentous day and part of a broader movement by Indigenous people across Australia. Christy O'Brien reports. A traditional ceremony of dance and song to mark a moment Indigenous people in this region have been pushing for for six years. 20,000 square kilometres of country in southeast Arnhem Land has been declared an Indigenous protected area. In many ways it's equivalent to Kakadu National Park having both natural and cultural values. It means the area which teems with threatened species, important flora and sacred sites is recognised federally as land that must be preserved. That important work will go to the Yugamangi Ranges and Numbawa Numbawindi Ranges. Because we grew up together on, on our land. What we take from our land, we need to give back. Important about animals and looking after um, cultural stuff, you know, so many things. The huge area extends from the Gulf of Carpentaria along the Ropa River, including Nooka and Numbawa communities. Negotiations have been in the works since early 2011. And I'm very proud of this ceremony today. It took us nearly six years to actually get it. The area has more than 20 different clan groups and a scattering of homelands. But all were keen to see the IPA become a reality. And with a flourish of a pen, the deal was done. The declaration of southeast Arnhem Land takes the number of Indigenous protected areas in Australia to 75, covering more than 65 million hectares. We've seen Aboriginal people uh, emerging out of the bush and creating ranger programs, but also uh, this whole idea of uh, dedicating some of their country to the National Reserve System in exchange for uh, support to keep that country uh, in a healthy state. A benefit to carry on for generations to come. Christy O'Brien, ABC News, Nooka.